on our come back home. But today video, we go quickly set up our React environment. Maybe say we go feed the right React code locally for on top of our machine like this. So the first thing we're gonna need to do now say you're gonna need to first install Node.js. Node.js, I don't already tell you now, say every developer need Node.js for a laptop. If you're serious about this thing, you're gonna need to put Node.js. So try install the Node 18.12.1, 18.12.1, the LTS version. Just make sure that this one you install. And you can install this one too, but it go the update later. But this one it go take small before they go update them. That's not the difference. So just install this one. And once you don't install them, then you're gonna need to just normal click here, install and normal install. If you come PNPM websites, you'll come this get started here. You'll come this pnpm.io. That's not the domain. I will drop link for the description for now. You'll come there, you'll click here. When you click this link, um, this uh, get it started, you can you come here the installation page. For inside this installation page, you'll scroll down. And when you scroll down, you'll see this command for here, this npm command. So because say you don't already install Node.js, that means say npm follow Node.js come. So you go feel install pnpm globally. That's not how you want to install them. So I don't enter inside my terminal for here. So we won't just start a new project inside this directory. Just make sure say you did the directory where you want to make the project. Now here you go run this command. So the command we want to run be you want to run pnpm create bit. If you run this command like so and you press enter, pnpm go initialize bit. Now 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 bit come they ask us say okay oh, if you want to make a project which kind of project you want to make. So we will come tell Vit the kind of project where we make. That are the name of the folder or the name of the app where we will make. We will call this app Sabi React. So if you call it like this Sabi React app and we press enter for here, you go see say Vit. Don't they ask us which projects we want? So we just go select any of them for here. But because we want to do React, that's not why we no go use Valena JavaScript or Vue. We won't use React. No be React to React. So click this React or go press enter on top of that React and then you go fit choose any of them if you want TypeScript or you want JavaScript. So we'll choose JavaScript for here. And just like that, we don't get a React project. But we never finish. Oh, we're gonna need to first change directory into the React app, then at this Sabi React, and then we're gonna need to install the dependencies. After that one, now that time we go comfy run the app to see say everything they work. So make we try it down. So the first thing where they tell us we say make we first cd into sabi react app so means say we're going to need change directory into sabi react app so i'll go say cd sabi react app and for inside this sabi react app directory if we check how many files there you go see say our vids project or vids team they don't help us set up a vids project so what you want to be say we want to do the installation of the package so before we install the package, make we first open up for our code editor, make we see what they do for you. So we'll just say code dot. And once I done like this, go help me run my VS code for inside here. Okay, so for inside this my VS code, make I just quickly explain what thing you know, they see for inside this folder structure for here. So for here, you just say we get this SRC. This SRC, what we call it now, usually the source. We call it now the source directory. Now you're going to do most of your work. But first, make we enter into our package.json. So this package.json, now here all our control center, or what we call it, all the settings, configuration, all the things we're going to use today, do this our project. Now here you go day. So most of them anyway, because we still get the vit.config on. But for now, make we just see what thing we they do for here. So the name that just the name of our project, which now this Sabi React uh, app for here, and then we just set them say we they set them to private, and we they give them the version the version number where we want. So if you just call them say this now zero point zero point one, and if you just set them like this, and then we they set them say this now module where we they make for here, and because this now module, what thing want do we say? We feel they import our um our packages, we feel they import our components, we feel they move import things, they make um ESCs import statements any way we want and export statements any way we want. Then I waiting with they do with this, they set this type module for here. And then for here we just set the scripts. So all the scripts where we're gonna run, for example, when we go run our PNPM scripts, now here we're gonna run them and we'll just feel they add them here. No worry, we'll soon run them. 
And then for here, if you check the dependencies for here, you just see with the set react as our dependency, and with the set react DOM as also part of our dependency. So this color where they see, or this symbol where they see for here, it just means say any any version of React will be from 18 and above. Now you're going to work with, you're not going to work with 16, you're not going to work with 19. You're going to just work with anything in this version. The same way we, the same way we do this, our own version for here, you're going to work with that, that kind of thing like that. You just say, you use this versioning um, system and it just tell us, say, anything will be 18 or 18.3 or 18.5 or 18. This is going to work as long as say, now React 18, this project is going to work for us fine, fine. So if you check here inside the dev dependencies, you can see say for these dev dependencies, we just set up our types for React and React DOM, and we also just set up our Vite project, which Vite don't help us arrange. So if you check inside here, inside Vite.config, you can see say for here the Vite team don't really help us uh, set up this kind of uh, arrangement for here, where they help us this uh, import the Vite where we want and it help us they import this because the module we don't set them to it help us they import bit react plugin and of course it just the end it just they execute the react plugin which now this one they execute that for you so all these things now go make our files or our package so they work well so if you use vs code if you come here terminal and then if you just click here or if you just press ctrl shift and back tick so if you just press ctrl shift and back ticks this one will help us open our terminal for inside our VS Code. So that waiting VS Code don't give us our own terminal. So no need for us to use even this uh, terminal all the time. So make I just minimize them or come out them. And for inside this, our terminal for here, which now see the same directory where we work with. So what we could do for here, we say we will call install our dev dependencies. Then are all these all these dependencies and dev dependencies, we go install them. So we're going to install React, we're going to install them as a package for here. Because if we try to run this project, we go get an error. So if we go install React, install React DOM, and then we're going to install the dev dependencies where we need. Okay, so we could just say PNPM and then we'll just run install so if you say i or if you say install me i always like do i so we just press enter it go help us install those packages for us already because now pnpm we use that now why pnpm they reuse packages so if you check here you go see say pnpm don't they help us they reuse packages for here you even see say you don't they drop fast fast for us because you know they download any of the packages that now why i they use pnpm but if now npm, it will install the packages all over again. The node modules, it will install them one by one again for inside this new project. So that are one of the major reasons why I they like use p npm. So make we come back here, and for inside our terminal for here, so like I clear here, go just run p npm, and then go just press run dev. Remember this command. So I show now for here. Make I bring this down. I show now for here. For inside the script, say this dev. Now we go run. So this dev script, you go just run this bit for here, and then I wait me to try to do. So if I just run now, pnpm run dev and press enter for here, you go see say you go just run only this bit. Then at this command for here, and once you run now, bit don't even set up a React project for me. Quick, quick, it don't run the live server. It don't do everything we need because we they come with hot module re, um, reload. It they reload our code once we press save. All those kind of things they make our life work better as developers so that's why they work like this for me so if you come here just press control you see press control on top of your um, keyboard and then click on this so this will help me open the project on top of my browser i just say now with the run out for this local host um go back into our vs code so if you press control back tick to toggle them and if you press control back tick to close them again okay then i'm waiting to use so for here, we don't already explain the um, node module, they are the package.json, and I don't explain what's in the happen for the vit config. So make we enter into the file, make we see what thing they do for inside the code. So for here, inside the index.html, you know saying I react with the right, but in any React project or any JavaScript project, you're gonna need this HTML file as an entry file. We go use today add your javascript or anything where you want to put into or today inject javascript or react code into the dom where you go they need to they use all this kind of technique if you change this title for here so we could just say if we press save for here it's supposed to give us for the browser make we open our browser make we see you can see say they tell us sabi react app for here inside our local host so make we go back into our vs code 
I'll make I explain what they get for here. So for here, we just get this root entry, this ID of root, and we use them as an entry point. We use them uh, for our JavaScript as an entry point. I see say we they set the module to default um to the the script tag to module, and then uh, we they also they set the path or the source of this our JavaScript we want to work with for here. So okay, so if you come here into the SRC and the main.jsx. So when we come the SRC, we get this the main.jsx. Make I bring them to this side. So we're going to see what's going to happen. And I could just explain what thing we they see for here. If you look inside my VS code, you can see say this import statement of React, it is very important. If you they work with React, you're going to need to the import modules. So that now waiting we they try to do for here. Also, if you look here, you can see say we get this app component, which we go use as our main component, where we they use for here. And then you go look here, say um uh, with the import CSS. So I go just show now say this app component, how it works. So if I come out this app component now and I press save for here, you go see say everything for here don't clear. But if I say I want to do like a H1. If I press save for here, you can see say we get this hello world for here. Now this hello world, now just the same thing we they do. We just they do the same H1, but we they do them as a component. So no, let the word components make you change your mind. Say no be waiting a B or say it's too hard for you to understand. Now the same thing as this H1, where we they try to do with this app component with there. So if I clean all this code now and I say make it just be the app component, so I go say app. And you just say once I press save for here, it will bring back this component as we see and before. So what did they happen for here? So if you look at this React DOM for here, you can see say this React DOM we just the column dot create root. Meaning say we they set up the root directory where we want to work with or the root entry point where we want to work with, and then we just attach the component to RAM. So what will they do? We say we they attach this component of where where we just get say we want to attach this element where the id now root then i wait we want attach ram and then we just call the dots render on top of so what we want render we say we want render our jsx component so if you look inside this index.css now just simple css will be just the right so if you they import your css into your react file so if you come here and you see say with a column into here you see say we just import this CSS. This is not like the global CSS we won't use. That's why it is here. So if you say you want to change anything for here, if you change that code and it will work the same for you, it will work well, well for you. So if you come inside here into the app.jsx, now here we go fit change all the code where we work with. Now if you change the text, now if you change anything we want, make we try to change the H1 for here. If you see the H1, make we try to change that H1 tag for here. So make we say, uh, sabi react for here so we just say sabi react so if you don't like this and we press save you can see say we don't change this one to sabi react for here okay so then now waiting react they help us to do and fit they even they help us they load our code fast fast and all those kind of things for the next video i will show now waiting jsx b how now if you use jsx and the best approach where if you use to the right your jsx but for now that's not all we will go fit length if you they enjoy this kind of video i beg make sure let me know if you not get suggestion you can also let me know for the comment side of this video and they always they try and reply but if you now want hear me directly no wala now if you join our telegram community otherwise thanks for watching oh.